problem is when you guys are doing a problem like this. First of all, do you guys remember the equation on the circle? Remember we had the equation on the circle was equal to that number, right? So it was easy to find the r squared. But the problem was the equation on the circle didn't have any coefficients that were different, right? So if you look at the equation of the circle, there is no like a and b like in front of its coefficients. They're exactly the same. So that's how we can obviously tell this is not a circle. So what we want to do is the equation on the circle is equal to r squared. This is not a circle. This is an ellipse, meaning for an ellipse, we need to set our equation equal to the value of 1. So to do that, divide by 8. Now, 2 over 8 gives us 1 fourth. And 4 over 8 gives us 1 half. So you could put the 1's up there if you wanted to, but there's no real point. So does everybody see what I did? I just did a little bit of algebra, a little bit of work to now put it into my ellipse form that I'm comfortable with. right? Because now it's a pretty easy to find my a squared. a squared is 4 a squared equals 4. So a equals um, going to be 2. b squared equals um, 2. b squared equals uh, 2. So therefore, b equals the square root of 2. And then c squared equals a squared minus b squared c squared minus a, b, or a squared minus b squared. Let me just write that out. OK. Now, the next thing is we need to figure out what the center is. Right? We've got to figure out what the center is. So the center, remember, is our h comma k. So remember, it's x opposite of h, x y opposite of k. So my h in this case is going to be a positive 3, and my y is a negative 1. Now, once I figure out my center, the first thing I want to do is graph it. Because once I can graph it, I can visually see what's going on. So graph, and everybody should be able to graph 3, negative 1. And then you label it. Now, Tim, your comment last, last problem. Whatever my a is, that tells me where the major axis is, right? Horizontal, vertical. So my a squared is under what co coordinate here? Where my a squared is under which coordinate here? My x. So therefore, should I have a major axis horizontal or a major axis vertical? Horizontal. It's opposite of the last problem we did. So now, so what I'm going to do, please pay attention, because this isn't something I like require, but I think it, it, to me it's really helpful. I am going to write in where the major axis is. And the minor axis is perpendicular. Again, if you want to memorize all these formulas, feel free. But I'm just telling you, to me, it makes much more sense to plot it and then just understand what lies on the minor axis, what lies on the major axis. It will make your life much easier, in my opinion. So we know that. So since the major axis is going left or right, the distance from my center to my vertices, which I need to figure out, right? My vertices are going to be a distance of a away from my center, right? And they're going to be going left to right because they lie on the major axis. So I'll go 2 to the right and 2 to the left. Is it kind of easy for me to figure out what those coordinate points are? They're going to be 1, comma, negative 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 5 comma negative 1. The next thing is finding the covertices. Covertices, remember, are going up or down. right? They're going up or down on, from the, on the minor axis. Now, they're going up or down a value of the square root of 2. Well, what is the square root of 2? Well, the square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 4 is 2. So therefore, my covertices have to be between 1 and 2. So covertice, covertice. Now, again, if my center is at 3, negative 1, and I'm going up or down, 
I'm really just doing 3 plus or minus the square root of 2, comma negative. Oops, I'm sorry. That's the other way. You're going over 3, and then you're going negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 2. And then last but not least, to identify the foci, it's again very, very important. The foci, hold on, guys. The foci lie on the major axis. So if my covertices were going up or down, my vertices go left and right, my vertices are on the major axis. So that means my foci are on the major axis. That means I'm going left or right. So what should I add the square root of 2 to? Should I add it to the y coordinate like I did for covertices? No, that was to go up and down. I need to add plus or minus square root of 2 to the y coordinate. Or I'm sorry, to the x coordinate. So it's 3 plus or minus the square root of 2 comma negative 1. And it's going to look something like that. Yes, questions? Three is your center. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. All right, I'll do one more.